As I reached the other side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks. Um, Dad is under the bed. Oh, no! But I heard it, clear as day. A soft, clear voice calling from upstairs. But Benjamin and I were home alone. The door to the bathroom opened a crack and one blue eye peered out at me. Fuck off! I ran over and grabbed him, hugged him, and then I hoisted him up and started out of the bathroom. I drop kick him. That scared the <laughs> shit out of me. What a selection of stories. Welcome to... Ghost Hunt! Episode 6. In the new year. 2023. <laughs> Have you got any New Year's resies? <laughs> And um, be less of a dick. <laughs> yeah, if you would. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. Lol, bant. Funny. Can we say that we're not recording this in the new year? Yeah, we're not actually. We might not make it to the new year. I am on the cusp of death. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and as you know, this, this is how every podcast starts. No, not today. I feel great. I look like death. No, you don't. But that's because I got the time wrong of the podcast. Yeah. And then Susie messaged me about 25 minutes ago. It was like about five minutes away <laughs> and I was in bed and I went, oh shit. Yeah, I'm that annoying person who's like, ha ha ha, lol, I'm five minutes away. Yeah. Any, anyone want to start Bucky? <laughs> no, you're not. You're the, <laughs> you're the saviour of the podcast because without you, we wouldn't be doing it because yeah, I I'd actually, still be in bed. I teed that up for you to say that. That's true. Boom. <laughs> um, how have you been? How's your week been? Yeah, how has it been? What have I been doing? I've been in and out of having a bit of a cold. This is December 2022, not... January yeah. 2023. But I think by the time you're listening to this, I'm going to be thriving. Yeah? I watch Krampus. It's amazing. I d- is, this, is it scary? It's not scary. It's silly and camp and festive and fun. Right. What the fuck does camp mean? Because everyone's saying... The people have described the traitors as camp, and I don't know what it means. The traitors is camp um, because it's kind of... What, how would I describe... Is it like dramatic but funny dramatic? Is that what it is? Is it over dramatic? Camp is like knowing. It's a bit tongue in cheek. It's a bit like right, twinkle okay, in the eye. We okay. know this is a bit ridiculous. Okay, fine. Are you calling my TV show ridiculous? It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incredibly so proud of that. No, um, okay, fine. So that's me? what Krampus is like. I think we're quite camp. Oh, yeah, but I would have said that anyway. Yeah. I would have said that before. We even started the maybe that maybe we're not allowed to say that I don't know but I think like camp is just a bit like oh, I don't know I'm gonna get myself into a hole. Mm, I'm worried. Barney, <laughs> what's camp? Camp is an aesthetic style and sensibility that regards something as appealing because of its bad taste and ironic value. Ironic value. That's what I meant with the knowing thing. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. What? Uh, so like an aesthetic style. I nearly read that as iconic value, which I feel would be almost very camp in itself. Oh, that would have been, <laughs> been a very camp response. Yeah, so it's um, something is appealing because of its bad taste and ironic value. No okay. offence, Hannah. <laughs> that's my entire BBC One show. <laughs> uh, but I think I love that. If I live in a world that's just camp, I'm happy. Mm. That's all I want in life. Uh, no, I agree. I do agree. I'm, I'm a camp gal. Mm. So we're... We've got do you bad like taste. camping? I do. Like do you? Yeah. Do you not? Oh no. I do. I, well, do you know what? I always imagine it to be a lot more, a lot better than it is. Because then what? Because you're like, oh, it's cozy, you're nice and cozy, and, mm. and then actually you're in, you're in there with a wall of wet. It's disgusting. It's all wet. And those shower blocks where you could get a yeah, veruca. I mean, well, you do get verrucas. Verrucas get verrucas. I went to centre parks. Like, oh yeah, I you know, loved like, it, didn't you? I did, but I did worry about the verruca situation. It oh, in like, the rapids. In the rapids, and then you're wandering about, and there's all these kids everywhere, and you're just like, I'm yeah. going to get some fun. I love centre parks. Do you? So <laughs> much. I think it's it, it was better. fun. It was fun. But um, we, me and my boyfriend did nearly like fall out over not getting oh, me and, to like... Oh, me and my boyfriend. Me and my boyfriend. I've got a bo- I my name's that, Susie Peasy and I've got a boyfriend. I've got, sorry, me and my boyfriend. Sorry, my boyfriend. We turned up like five minutes late for like... Uh, I can't remember, like an activity and like they don't let you on it and it's really expensive. What was it? Oh, I can't remember. It's that thing that, you, oh, it's a Segway. Oh, Segway fuck experience. Off. Fuck off. And it was like 150 A Segway quid. experience. You just stood <laughs> fucking still. I know. Oh, it's the most insane thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know why people do What is the deal? 
Yeah, I don't what get it. What's the deal? And what? And also, there was like a twenty-minute health and safety talk, and I was like, "I'm sorry, you're you're digging into my Segway experience, and it's 150 pounds. 150 yeah, pounds. Yeah, and we did. We got a refund in the end because we were late, and they were like, "Sorry, you're going to miss the health and safety talk." And by the time we like wandered out, we could see people still receiving the health and safety talk. And I was like, "A hundred and fifty insane pounds. Was I, it good?" No, no, we didn't do it. Oh, you didn't we, do we it. We got a refund because we were like, we, we had a massive argument because we were late and then right. I was blaming him, he was blaming right. me. Right, yeah. And then we didn't do it in the end and I was like, thank fuck. Yeah, because uh, £300, what's the total? No, no, 150 quid. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, but still, you're like, for what? I know. What is a segue? Just, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, has anything scary happened to you this week? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. Has anything scary happened to you? Well, commitment's kind of facing me in the... In the yeah, like, how are you feeling scary. about it? Um, no, it's, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just, are you ready to commit and get no, married? No, we're, 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 we're dating. We're dating. Okay. There's a date, there's dates. There's dates happening. He said you were beautiful. Uh, I am beautiful. I know, as we've already established, so the, both of you just turned away. Then, <laughs> Barney and Susie, thank you. It's like, don't look her in the fucking eye. We won't have to, we won't have to respond to this. <laughs> um... Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm dating. It's uh, it's pleasant. It's it's right. scary, but that is that is the scary thing that's happened to me this mm. week. <laughs> uh, before we start, Bonnie, you have you 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 have some haunted stuff mm. to tell us. Well, um, it's not a very good story, but I was brilliant. Just, um, Always good to start outside. with that. Well, you know, I'm... don't do yourself down. Come on, Bonnie. So um, basically, when I was a kid and was living still in England, um, I used to see a face on the wall of my bedroom like every night and it used to scare the shit out of me and I'd like scream and then my parents would come in turn the light on and the face would disappear do you mean like um like a normal sized face no so um the the way I described it back then I think was a um it was a massive like almost like a demonic Thomas the Tank Engine <laughs> oh oh my god because it had a little like um funnel on top of <laughs> the shit choo -choo <laughs> yeah choo -choo. But, but like nasty um, oh nasty, nasty thomas nasty, nasty thomas <laughs> oh my god do you think it was real uh no so i've worked out since what was happening oh. um it was the lamppost outside shining through the curtains which that is why happen. when my parents turned the light on it disappeared <laughs> Uh, See, I think Tutu Thomas is a satanic little cunt. Yeah, um, same. I mean, it would have been better, Barney, to be honest. I never uh, we don't, uh, we I don't mean, like that, Maybe I'm wrong. We maybe. don't like scientific explanation on ghosts. Yeah, we, we'd, we'd prefer you didn't say that there was an explanation. Yeah, can that. we fucking cut that out, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, did anything else exciting happen? <laughs> um, so, my dog, uh, yeah, there was supposedly like, um, I think they called it the Grey Lady. Like, it was an old Victorian house. And our dog, used, um, like, a, you know, the... Um, windows on doors that you can't kind of see through properly no um <laughs> like fos frosted, what do you mean? frosted glass frosted glass yeah. like in the toilet i'll cut all this yeah so yeah no i like this front door's a toilet um and <laughs> front, door's <laughs> a front door's a toilet um our it dog is. used to just go mental at the door at that window and there was never anyone there well, you say there was never anyone there. There well, was demonic Thomas, undead dogs Thomas. and kids. No, <laughs> dogs and kids. You listen to your dogs and your kids, people and cats. If you don't want to, don't. Yeah, and cats. Sorry, yeah, hamsters and rabbits. It's like the fucking Noah's Ark, isn't it? <laughs> Just get yourself got... a petting zoo if you're worried yeah. about... Um, well, no, getting... don't, because... No, don't do that, because if you do, then they start barking and yowling on whatever... I'm not going through all the fucking... Noise. <laughs> <laughs> what and noise quacking the... what and noise mooing <laughs> and squeaking. <laughs> what noises do hamsters and make? And... It's more like a... <laughs> is that a rabbit? That's so... What do you think mean. my animal is? I I think it... Um, a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Sometimes I get cat or mouse, but you're like fucking ferret. Ferrets are good. Everyone no, likes they're ferrets. not. What do you mean they're good? What Everyone good likes good ferrets. people? Ferrets are good, honest people. Thank you. They're How good dare people. You? So you I see would the say... ferret. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> fuming. <laughs> don't ask questions if you don't want the answers. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? She's laughing, but inside she's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get my voodoo doll and yeah. put pins in it later. Um, what do you think I am? Twat. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> it's don't ask questions. Don't <laughs> very good. Very good. No. Um, 
Yeah, anyway, don't get f- animals or children because what happens is they will tell you if there's something there, they just won't do anything about it. Yeah, they'll just weep about they'll it. They'll just cry about it. it. No. Yeah, they'll just be like, hello. And then they'll be talking to people. And hello. Over there. Hello. hello. So I'm a hunted dog. So children speak. Hello. <laughs> Burn of the milk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my favourite thing in the podcast. Ah, uh, Barney's happened. mugging me off, making me sound like me sound like fat bastards. <laughs> that was good. Okay, um, so shall we, have you got a story? It kind of segues into a story I've got actually. Oh, amazing! About haunted kiddos. Haunted kiddos. Kiddos. Um. So, episode six, story number one. This is called. I played hide and seek with my son and found something terrifying. I don't like this already. I know. During quarantine, my four-year-old and I played a lot of hide and seek. Well, hide and seek with a few extra rules. One, I'm the only one that hides, he doesn't want to. Two, I have to call out you hoo every few minutes, otherwise he'd never find me. And three, when he gets close, I pop a hand or foot out of my hiding spot and he shrieks, I see your feet. <laughs> it says that in capital letters. <laughs> what a little prick. Yeah. Four year olds are really stupid, okay? Yeah, they are. And I didn't, that's what it says here. Oh. I, it's not my belief, not my opinion. <laughs> it's my opinion. <laughs> and I didn't exactly have the money to buy him a ton of toys. We just moved into this house a few weeks ago. The rent took up nearly my entire paycheck. I got all the furniture from FreeCycle. We ate beans and rice often, and I was still driving around a 20-year-old car. Hide again, Benjamin said, tugging my hand. Hide again. But it's almost bedtime. Please. Fuck off. Okay. Go to bed. But only one game, okay? Go count the kitchen. What? <laughs> Go count the kitchen. I was so thought she you said go hide. count the kitchen. Go count like, the kitchen. What the fuck? We're so poor. Go and count <laughs> <Yeah>. the kitchen. <laughs> we can't afford to buy you toys. Just go and count your fucking kitchens. All right. <laughs> he ran around the corner as fast as he could. One, two. I ran through the living room and then I saw it. The hall closet. Perfect. I opened the door and ducked inside. It was a tight fit, all those scratchy, furry old coats pressing against me, but it was worth it because the better the hiding spot, the more time I got to myself. I pulled out my phone and started browsing Reddit. Soon his muffled footsteps sounded around the dining room. I waited a minute. When he didn't seem to be coming my way, I cracked the door. Yoo-hoo, I called out. Footsteps grew louder. I heard his muffled giggles as he walked towards me. And then he started going up the stairs. (sighs) One idiot. That's, that's what it says here. It's not my opinion. Again, I think Benjamin's... Why are you it. so worried about... Why are you so worried about mugging off the kids? <laughs> I just think Benjamin's sweet. I cracked the door open a little further, just in time to see his little feet disappear from the landing. Then I shrugged. More time for me. I sat back down in the closet and pulled out the phone. Mummy! I heard him giggle from upstairs. Mummy, where are you? I smiled. I wonder if her mum invented hide and seek quite brilliant you get a few precious minutes away from your child and they're not even supposed to make much noise but you're absolutely entertaining them <clears throat> at the same time absolutely yoo-hoo i stopped every muscle in my body froze but i heard it clear as day a soft clear voice calling from upstairs but benjamin and i were home alone i've gone where's benjamin benjamin's upstairs so is it him? I'm confused as to why she's already worried. She does, does hears just... someone say you who. Does she not? Is it not Benjamin? Does she not just think? Well, oh, it's I Benjamin? think she would know if that was her kid. Oh, so she voice. thinks it's a different voice. Yeah, different voice. I don't like that, especially yeah. the you who. Yeah, grim. Mm. Oh God, someone's in the house. And Benjamin, I burst out the closet. Benjamin, where are you? I heard Benjamin's footsteps running above me, his giggles trailing down to me. I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. Benjamin, I finally screamed, more giggles, and then Benjamin's voice, I see your feet. No. Oh, did something go a bit quiet? I'm really freaked out and I don't know why. Listen. Oh, something's weird. (laughs) Yeah, there is something a bit weird. There's something a bit weird, isn't there? Yeah, I've got, look, I've got, something's just happened. I don't, is that so, your fucking? It, it, is that it, your possessed train? 
possessed your train. possessed train. Your possessed train's come. Doesn't like you talking about it. Oh, sorry, I'm confused. So she's in that. She was in the closet. She's heard the yoo hoo. Yeah. She's run out. She's like, oh fuck, it's not it's someone else in the house. Benjamin's running around yeah. the house, giggling. Yeah. And then he says, I can see your feet, even yeah. though he's she's not downstairs. Okay, fine. Right. Okay. Thank you. I catapulted up the steps, screaming for him. I burst into his bedroom, but he wasn't there. Just his empty rocket bed, comforter rumpled, embroidered stars staring back at me. I ran back into the hallway, spinning around. Benjamin? But I didn't hear any footsteps, any giggling. The house was dead silent now, and I could hear a pin drop. I ran into the guest bedroom. It was empty. I ran over to the closet. I threw it open, looked up and down. Nothing. Stumbling back out into the hallway, I crossed back towards my bedroom, the only bedroom left. I ran inside and flicked on the light. Empty. The pile of dirty laundry on the chair, untouched. The wardrobe, hanging open, my clothes inside. <clears throat> the pillows piled up on top of each other in a heap. Heart dropping, I ran around the other side of the bed, also empty. I crouched to look under the bed. Empty. Mummy? Mummy? Relief flooded through me as I heard that voice. The door to the bathroom opened a crack and one blue eye peered out at me. Fuck off! <laughs> why why is this? Lynn everywhere? That's why we got freaked out, because I just swear she's she's possessing every fucking story we read. What the fuck? <clears throat> Where do you find all these peaky stories? Oh no, peaky peaky, they find me. I ran over and grabbed him, hugged him, and then I hoisted him up and started out of the bathroom. I drop kick him. Let's get the <laughs> shit out of me. Fuck Bye. off. <laughs> Fuck off, Benjamin. <laughs> get out, you creepy twat. <laughs> His eyes were still wide with fear, and they weren't focused on my face, but the spot just over my shoulder. I whipped around. It took me a moment to see it, but then I did. I stared at the wardrobe, frozen, my heart pounding in my ears. No. In the shadows, poking out from under the hems of my dresses and coats, were two feet. <laughs> no, I hate it. I Oh, that is... Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we don't uh, like that uh, at all. I hate that loads. That is gross. Oh, my God. So gross. <clears throat> I can't sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that was too minging. feet. Oh no. In moments like this, the brain doesn't really think. It's too slow, instinct reigns. The smartest thing would have been to lock ourselves in the bathroom and climb out the window, but instead I just ran for the hallway as fast as I could. Bare feet or shoed feet? What do we always say? Hannah? Do we ever find They're out? They're always shoeless, aren't they? Always. Yeah, I thought because I thought it does make a difference because if this if the shoeless feet that's Fucking scary. If they've got Crocs on, it, yeah. it totally removes. Do you know what say I mean? It removes no it. Crocs. As I ran down the stairs, I heard the weighted footsteps, slow and methodical, resonating through the house. I could still hear them pounding into my brain as I ran to the neighbour and screamed for help. This is really bad. The police came. They searched the house. They didn't find anything. No signs of forced entry either. So they promised me they'd patrol my street for the next few days, but that was really all they could do. I decided to stay at a friend's house for a few weeks until I felt safe again. But every time I closed my eyes, I could see them. Those two feet that look so off. Yeah, of course they somehow. fucking did. Because they're fucking dead. As if waterlogged. Yeah. A bit too greyish in tone and belong to any normal That's person. how mine are going to look when I die of drowning. Oh, God. Waterlogged. The Hannah's feet. That's it was me all horrible. along. Toenails blackened and split. Jesus Christ. And I think back to that wardrobe, how I'd gotten it for free. How the owner told me his mother had just died. Oh. And he was trying to get In rid the of back. all her stuff as quickly as possible. And I wondered, how exactly did she die? In the bath. Was it the bath? He drowned her. What? Well, he. it says here. <laughs> it says Where's here. Where's the evidence <laughs> for this, Susie? The owner told me he his drowned mother... her. He did. He drowned her in the bath. Go on then. Says the owner told me his mother had just died and he was just trying to get rid of all her stuff as quickly as possible. So he's like, he's done a rush job. Was that the end? That's the end. 
<laughs> I've got the so many <laughs> questions. That was a great. That was creepy as fuck. That was really, really good. Really fucking. Um, I have loads of questions. Uh, Please ask. I I'd like to know. I mean, you don't know the answers to any of them, I suppose. But I, yeah, she, she, she drowned, didn't she? Obviously, uh, in the bath. Which I is reckon exactly how I'm going to go. Oh God, don't. Although we haven't really decided that it's a bath. Could it be could anything. Be, yeah, it could be a body of water. Yeah, a lake. could be drinking pot noodles too fast. <laughs> yeah, you could drown your system just by drinking too much. I could drown water. my sister. <laughs> drown your system. I was, I was like, I quite like her. I won't. I won't. I don't. Don't really drown want your to. sister. I won't drown my sister. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, that's that was horrible. Horrible. It's that. It's that. Um, like double take. Oh God. It's the like, idea of just two feet, and also the YooHoo suggests that 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 was a living. Thing. It wasn't just a body. Someone said you who. Yeah, but why would they say you's a really weird thing, isn't it? You. And also, did it say that they could hear like footsteps pound? Like, yeah. I think that thing came out the wardrobe. Would she? I couldn't sleep there again. I'd be, I'd be, sell I'd it. be out, sell, gone. Sell. Bye. Sell it. It's not worth I'd it. I'd sell it. No, I'd sell the wardrobe. Maybe for no, I sell the whole house. I'm not putting. I don't understand shit. why people, when they get haunted in like movies, why they I know, don't just I know. they're leave. literally walking around with one arm that's been ripped off, and they're like, "We've put all of our money in the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are we ever going to get a new mortgage? <laughs> get the fuck out! <laughs> Figure it out later. You are about to die. So true. Some mean, some manical fucking ghost coming out with a chainsaw, and they're like, <laughs> "But the equity, <laughs> our credit rating will be fucked." It's outrageous. It's so true. You wouldn't catch me. I'd fucking sleep on soap for the rest of my life. I'm not. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, have you got me a story? <clears throat> I have. Ready? Okay. So ready. This one's called Bunk Buddies. Oh. My daughter, 13, has a bunk bed. Well, a close enough bunk bed anyways. At the bottom was her desk and at the top was, as you guessed, a bed. This bitch is already Sass. in the I know. This all started when I built her bunk bed. Her dad was missing at July 5th at 03.33am. He went missing by an assumed kidnapping. Nobody actually knew what happened. Keep this in mind. Basically, she's saying that she's built this bunk bed because the man wasn't around, which is incredibly sexist. To yeah, I'm with. like, you can do that. But, yeah, you come on. You, you get it, girl. Get it, girl. Come on, get, get those for, drills out. Yeah, Let's go. Flat pack, Ikea. Come on, Ikea. <laughs> Uh, Get some meatballs while you're there. This all started when I built her bunk bed. Her dad was missing at July 5th at 03.33am. He went missing by an assumed kidnapping. Nobody actually knew what happened. Keep this in mind. I had no help with the furniture, but I did an okay job. At the time, I was a young woman, 30. I was a teen mum. My husband... Oh, yeah, because she's 13. I was a teen mum. My husband, 32, tried his best to support me and my child. In my opinion, I don't really blame him for leaving. I was almost 18 and very angsty, and our child got my genes. Angsty. Okay, thank you for absolutely no broadness of your vocabulary there. Um, also, broadness isn't a word. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know that I know that. Um, his disappearance affected my daughter very much. She was... Okay, so I think the dad went missing years and years ago. Right, on July the 5th. Yeah, but she hasn't made it com that clear, to be right, honest. Right, okay. His disappearance affected my daughter very much. She was depressed at such a young age. I could not bear seeing her like that. So the little things like giving her a nice new bed and spending time with her made her happier. One night she woke me up screaming. I burst into her room and asked if anything was wrong. She hesitated, but began saying, Mom, Dad is under the bed. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Daddy's under the bed. Yeah. Daddy should not be under the bed. <laughs> Daddy should be on a list. <laughs> <laughs> Get out from under the bed, you fucking weird. Horrible. I know. And he didn't even fucking help build the. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Rock it up <laughs> as and when you please. Classic man. Oh. No, I'm, I'm joking. I like men. Um, <laughs> Say it with more I mean, sincerity. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely not a feminist at all. <laughs> uh, couldn't give a shit. If a man turned up at my house and was like, I'll build a bed, I'd be like, yeah, fine. Like, yeah. I've got nothing to prove, to be honest <clears throat> with you. Dad is under the bed. I looked under and saw nothing. This happened for weeks until I installed cameras in her room. Oh. No, I'm not a bad mother. She asked me to install them so we could move if she was speaking the truth. I fell asleep and she woke me up again. I didn't rush. She did this every night now. If anything, I thought she would be okay. She was never hurt. But as soon as I entered her room and inside, I breathed back intensely when I saw she wasn't in her bed. I ran to the cameras and looked at the footage. A man, not my husband, a man. He looked familiar, 
But I can see why she thought it was her dad. <sighs> Their hair was the exact same, and I know why she was screams. It's His her uncle. body was dismantled into weird positions. Oh, As she screamed, the thing grabbed her leg and pulled her down, and then pitch black. Oh fuck! It's been three years <laughs> since then. The officer I called called me crazy. I showed the footage to a different station. I showed the footage to a different station, but they sent me away claiming I was psycho. Why? What? I don't. I don't really know. Maybe it hasn't. Yeah. As in, she's the only one that can see. I think this she's the only one that can. Figure. I think so. Yeah. I don't think she can see it. Anyone else can see it. Well, they can't see anything. that in. Quite important. Not written that into the story. Yeah. I forgot about it around four years after her death. I'm 34 now. I know. You forgot about it. <laughs> Bit shit, Mum. I just, I just, it's just now come to me. I've just remembered. Uh, my daughter got fucking murdered by a massive ghost. That's horrible. Um, I, be I now believe in ghosts and try my best to reach out to my daughter. But as I'm writing this on my bed, I hear tapping. Not just any tapping. Tapping under my bed. My bed was the same, but more lower than her old one. I can't call out to anyone because it's June 5th at 3.33 a.m. I guess it's time to join my daughter. Oh! Creepy! Creepy. That's Why? creepy, isn't it? Why? So, so the dad went missing, but clearly just sort of died under a bed. Yeah, I think just died. Just Maybe she killed bed. him. The daughter, you've just got this. You love a family annihilator. <laughs> family annihilator. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me. F A L. <laughs> I, I had to stop there because I don't know how to spell annihilator. <laughs> family. <laughs> family. Family. Family annihilator. Um, wow, that was creepy. Yeah, Dad's creepy, under the bed. Dad's under the bed. Dad hasn't fucking turned up for ages. Dad hasn't done any babysitting yeah. or paid me any fucking child maintenance. So Dad can <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Exactly. Is what my response Lazy would have been. cunt, just yeah. under the bed having lazy, a nap. Lazy, lazy prick. Um, What's your mum said about using the C word? I know. Oh, honey, you're She's right. She's clearly getting I mad. Know. What's your mum's name? Lucy. Lucy, that was not me. <laughs> As, I'm trying real hard <laughs> to not fucking swear. Just, uh, yeah, disclaimer, my mum um, really enjoys the podcast, but has texted me to be like, um, you do swear a lot. Yeah. Um, and that use of the C word is frankly quite filthy and disgusting. <laughs> Frankly, quite disturbing, actually. It's quite disturbing Susie, that I birthed you, Susie to be honest. <laughs> the thing is, though, when she gets a bit of road rage, she, she I know, I know, shoots her I mouth know, off, and I'm like, where this did I get thing. it from then? I know. And do you know what? Swearing is big and it is clever, so... It is. I don't know what to say. Um, did you enjoy that story? I love that. God, that I'm was really creepy. It. I think cool. we're really... Um, Good at upping the, the creep factor. I think we've, yeah, I think we've smashed it. That's creep factor. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do you want another one? Yes, I do. <clears throat> what did you have? Oh, honestly, my order from Starbucks. Fucking hell. Yeah, I, I go. Can we read it out for the poddy? Yeah, go This on. is Susie's. <laughs> my, my Starbucks order is one cappuccino. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which is normal. Susie's is gingerbread. What's a, oh, a grande gingerbread latte. Mm -hmm. With three espresso, fucking hell! Yeah, I needed caffeine today. Oh, you went, you went skinny last. Can I have a skinny? I don't want it skinny, but could I have whipped cream, please? Yeah, can I have all the sugar <laughs> in the fucking world cream. and all the syrups and all the cream? But make sure that fucking milk but I is want that. skimmed. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <coughs> um, it is delicious, and I asked him not to put sprinkles on the top. That's really well, well done, you. Thank you. Nah. I don't like it when they go down and make a pulp at the no, bottom. No, no. <laughs> Okay, um, now, just, I've got a story called The Smiling Man, but you know it. Okay. Would you like it? Yeah, go on then. Barney, I don't think you've heard this. Barney, I this I hate this story. I think this so might be much. one of my favourite stories. I think it might be one of mine. You, I'm going to be looking at Barney's reaction, to be honest, this whole time. Okay, here we it's go. It's file. And this is a, this is a true story, so, so they say. Um, so, yeah, buckle in, this, this happened to this guy. So... Here we go. About five years ago, I lived downtown. Downtown. Sorry, I shouldn't do that to the Americans. <laughs> you also shouldn't do it to the Spanish. <laughs> about five years ago, I lived downtown. <laughs> no, no. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the US. I've always been a night person, so I'd often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. 
I spent four years like that, walking alone at night, and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all of that... <laughs> Fuck off. I think that's a bit profiling. I think it's a bit not funny. Suggesting that drug dealers are just not polite. Yeah. yeah. By I, trade. I, do you know what? I, I, I the kindest Whenever people. a drug dealer has texted me, they've given me some really good deals, actually. And they use please. They, yeah, they do use please. Yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. don't know any drug dealers. Want a I white don't... Christmas? <laughs> Get two for one before New Year's Eve. I actually don't do drugs. <laughs> I don't. I don't do drugs. Alcohol um, is my drug. I've heard, you know what's my drug? Uh, scary stories and crack <laughs> and meth <laughs> and meth and loads and loads of meth <laughs> <laughs> what was that <laughs> was that Woody the Woodpecker fucking laughing at <laughs> oh god okay even the drug dealers in the city were polite but all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening it was a Wednesday somewhere between one and two in the morning and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to loop back to my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street on my side was the silhouette of a man dancing. It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. I don't like it. <sighs> Deciding <sighs> he was probably drunk, yeah. I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me by. Sorry. It's very bad. The closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still, until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. No. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. No. Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. Mm -hmm. I took my eyes off him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks. He'd stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me, but still looking skyward. Smile still wide on his lips. Oh no. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but I kept my eyes on the man. He didn't move. Once I'd put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street and the sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he'd been standing to find him gone. For the briefest of moments, I felt relieved. Until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Oh God. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. <coughs> I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked that I stood there for some time staring at him. And then he started moving towards me again. He took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps, as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone, except he was moving very, very quickly. Oh, God. I'd like to say at this point I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray. <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> Just you carried it on. Pepper spray. I know. How much is a can of pepper spray? And is it legal? Can we in the buy States? one now? I would love some. Honestly. I just like to be able to say I'm carrying mace. Yeah, mace, mace, Mason. Mace. <laughs> I always remember Officer Mason. Mm, Stupid can, prick. Can't forget him. Um, Nine ninety nine off Amazon. Are you allowed it? it says UK legal. So it probably doesn't do much damage to the eyes. I think it does loads of fucking damage to the eyes. <laughs> does it? Yeah, Lynn could have done with some of that. Yeah. To be honest. I, <laughs> yeah. That's really weird. So I, like a handbag. Oh, can you be arsed though to get it out of your bag? I'd just end up kicking and flailing. Or yeah. <laughs> or just, I'd fucking run. I'd, f I'd drop my bag. I'd drop everything out of it. I'd lose I'd, the I'd, mace. Yeah, I'd, I'd, There's nine ninety nine gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or we'll we'll just get day. a bit of sure deodorant. That <coughs> stuff is strong. Or like Mitchum. <coughs> exactly. Mitchum Mitchum's power good. Spray. Mitchum's the best yeah. one in it. I've never had it. It's too expensive for me. It's about five. I tried it once. It really blocks your pores, but it means really? that you sweat in other places. Oh, shut up. What? So you just 
pouring. Maybe that's how I'm going to die. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to use some Mitchum and then my mouth's going to sweat. Your mouth? Yeah. Of all places. <laughs> no, because that's how I'll drown. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, do you know what? There's too many so things. Wet. There's too many drowning options. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, well. All right, you feel At least stupid. you've accepted your fate. Yeah. I think that's important and it might change your fate. Okay. I'd like to say at this point, I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or my cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen, as the smiling man crept towards me. And then he stopped again about a car length away from me, still smiling his smile, still looking to the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was, what the fuck do you want? In an angry, commanding tone. But what came out was a whimper. What the fuck? <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> it's like, you know, when, um, you know when someone says, you just, you can't, you just falls out and someone, someone says to you like, oh, happy birthday. And you go, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's my favourite thing <laughs> ever. Or like if the wait is like, it's 20 quid, and you're like, fine, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah. think about it every day yeah. of your life at about 3am. Like, yeah. It'll still haunt you yeah. for years. Anyway. That is a real haunting. Get yeah, that is. The from. cringe, the ick. Cringe. Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice and that only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He just stood there smiling. No. And then, after what felt like forever... He turned around very slowly and started dance walking away. No, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I just hate like this, that. But... Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go until he was far enough away to be almost out of sight. And then... No. I realised something. No. He wasn't moving away anymore. Oh, God. Nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him grew larger and larger. He was coming back my way. He was coming back, Barney! And this time, he was running. <laughs> I ran too. I ran until I was off the side road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. The rest of the way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunted me. He didn't look drunk, he didn't look high, he looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Oh my oh. God, that's <laughs> horrible. Oh my God. There's some there's people smiling, man, it's not cool. I know, I mean, he must have been off his tit. Yeah, he was, I think that's true, but I think that it was just a mad... A uh, madman. A madman. A madman. A madman. Um, so what, what a selection of stories. This is, did you know that Jennifer Aniston lived in a house in LA? Yeah. And she was haunted by a ghost who hated her roommate. Shut up. And I didn't know that. Yeah. So um, she lived in this place when she moved to LA. Mm. Um, I don't know who this roommate was, but basically like the coffee machine would turn on and start itself. The dishwasher would turn on and start itself. And she got a medium over because apparently everyone was like, you need to get a ghost whisperer <laughs> and you need to get rid of it. And this woman came over. I don't know why I've assumed a woman. In my mm. head, it's like bangles That's and shawls. That's incredibly sexist. Yeah, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? I think yeah. there's a theme. We're very sexist. Yeah, we're um, very, yeah. Really, tolerant, really but sexist. sexist. Yeah. Um, ah. <laughs> so um, she hired this media <coughs> who put um, frankincense on an ashtray. I don't know the significance of that. We might need to try it in here. But apparently this ashtray was from 1975. Right. And they put frankincense on it. And um, apparently this uh, the, the medium started like speaking in tongues. And then the ashtray just split. And she was like, it was really old. And like it, it split apart. And this was a very heavy, thick ashtray. And then... Um, so they thought that maybe they'd made some progress and then the medium took her to one side. Did she bring the ashtray in herself? I think it was already in the flat. Mm, I'm sceptical about this. Yeah, a oh, oh, huge <laughs> of a lot of this. I'm sceptical yeah, as well. Yeah. And then the medium was like, um, uh, by the way, the ghost really hates your flatmate. Oh, oh, that's fine. And then just drop that bombshell. No, that's fine. But yeah, but then, fine. but then Jen didn't like that and was like, 
I'm going to oh. leave. Do you know what? She's such a nice woman because I'd be like, fuck it, fine, I'll stick around. It doesn't feel right with me. Yeah, but then... She's leaving the house every day like, bye, babe. And she's being like, ripped to shreds. <laughs> the hair being pulled up. <laughs> like, ah! Have a great day. <laughs> I think that's really harsh that she left. She just left the roommate to be like, good luck. Although, do you think oh. that roommate was a fucking nightmare? I bet she was a dickhead, yeah. I yeah. bet she didn't fucking... Do and it. maybe she paid the medium to be like... I bet she didn't clean the kitchen or wash the Yeah, like, and maybe the left little post-its around being like, Jen, could you... Yeah. Sorry, like, I didn't use that mug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you mind? Could you please just wash up your own things? That'd be great. Yeah, and can we do that a cleaning row to Jen? And Jen's like, I'm busy filming. She's like... Yeah, you Jen's like, I'm a fucking... You're not too serious. fucking big for your... Did you know also yeah. that um, she was in Leprechaun? Yeah, I watched that quite recently. Did Leprechaun. you? Yeah, really weirdly. Isn't um, it great? Yeah, that's camp, isn't it? That is so camp. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting it now. Yeah, Leprechaun Leprechaun's is, camp. Oh, but so um, good. Ve- yeah, very good. I love Leprechaun. I yeah, like, I, that was one of her first, first films, films, right? Yeah. And apparently there's been... What have I written here? I love Leprechaun, but I think if I'd have started my <gasps> I career... I love Leprechaun. I, I love Leprechaun. But if I'd have started my career in it, I don't think I'd be shouting it for the rooftops, if I'm honest. But she's done so well despite Leprechaun. Despite, yeah, that's it. It's not because of it. It's despite. That, yeah. was, that pushed her 20 steps back, Leprechaun. Did you know... Do you know what Leprechaun 4 is called? Lepre- no. There's four? No, there's there- there's eight of them. Leprechaun 4 is called Leprechaun in Space. Someone's told me about this. Leprechaun 5? Go on. Leprechaun in the Hood? What do you think Leprechaun That's 6 racist. is called? <laughs> <laughs> leprechaun, in, leprechaun in your arsehole? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Leprechaun in the school school cafeteria. <laughs> leprechaun six is called Leprechaun. Back to the hood. <laughs> oh, back. Back to the hood. Back to so the hood. Two. Like oh, the that. number two and then T H A. Oh back to the hood. God. And to be honest, that's the one I want to watch the most. Yeah, back to the hood. <laughs> I want to watch all leprechauns. Yeah, me too. Outrageous. I've only seen one. I thought there was only one. Eight. Well, there's eight of them. There's a whole franchise. And I just think Jen is a star. Oh, she is. And I don't blame her for leaving, to be honest. A roommate sounds like a twat. I think it was that. I'm all, I'm J I'm J Annie all the way. J Annie? J Annie. That's the that's what people call her. <laughs> to introduce this little segment. Um, The lights have dimmed and now we are about to try and contact the undead and Hannah has a little juego for me, which is Spanish for game. (laughs) I think we're we're dancing with danger here. Um, (laughs) Okay, so this is called Sara Sarita. What we have to do is, we basically can ask it questions and it has to be yes or no questions. Okay. Um, but we have to make sure that we enter the game properly so that we don't get haunted. And to enter the game properly, we have to say the word Saro Sarita may enter your game. And then we throw the coins over our shoulder. And if the coins are heads up, we have commit we have permission to enter the game. Okay. If if one of them is down, we do want basically we can't go. <clears throat> so heads you may up try again, today. but it is not recommended that you do so more than once. Instead, leave the room after apologising for the intrusion. You can try again later. So this could lead to nothing. Well, so could everything in life. <laughs> but you've got to try. Okay. Okay, so we have to say it together. One, what two. What am I saying, sorry? Sara Sarita, may I enter your game? Okay, right. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Sara Sarita, Sarita, may I enter, enter your, your game? game? This feels very... Oh, did you chuck it? Yeah, you have to chuck it, so. <laughs> okay, now we have to find them. Mine's fucking tails. Mine was tails. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Why did we lie for the sake of the fucking podcast? What do you mean? Or you'd get haunted. Yeah, because you know, I don't want to get haunted, Susie. Okay, do you want to... Sp- and also, we're a very authentic podcast. <laughs> That's we'll true. I... We'll try one more time. One more time. Okay, because I think this is this time's going to be fine. One, two, three. Sarah, Sarah Sarita, Sarita, may, may I, I enter your, your game? game. Find the coin! Find the coin! <laughs> oh my it god, it's heads! Yeah! That's good! It was yours? I don't know, I can't fucking find it. <laughs> Where's it gone? Uh, that's my 20 fucking pence, bitch. <laughs> I can Where's spend that on a curly whirly. Oh, fuck no. Oh, oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. Oh, stop oh it, my god, it, that, and it's on the edge. It's no. on the edge, which I think you need oh, to. No, oh, fuck it is, really isn't it? Bad. It's on the edge. Which means you're on the edge, it is and. Head. and Life is on the edge. So that's they're kind of they're, they're they're like fine, but we're not happy about exactly. it. Exactly. I think the spirits are unhappy. Okay, so here's what we need to do now. Jesus, that was intense, wasn't it? Okay. 
Yours is very on the edge. It was yeah. it was stood up. It was literally stood up, which was weird. It was stood on its side. And how often do coins do that? Not often. Once you receive permission, you can start asking questions. Ask only yes or no questions. Begin each question by saying Sarah Theresa, followed by the question clearly. Okay. Take turns to- in asking the questions. After each question, both the principals, which is us, should toss their coins over their shoulders. If the coins are heads up, the answer is yes. If the t- if the coins are tails up, the answer is no. If one coin is heads up, the other is tails. The answer is maybe. And we have to, don't, we need to forget, we need to remember to say farewell because if not, God forbid. She's fucking okay. coming after Someone's us. Someone's coming after us, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we can start asking questions. Do you have a question for Sarah Sarita? Um, okay. Um, yes, I do. Yeah, okay. So I ask it and we both chuck it. We both chuck it, yeah. Okay. okay. Should I ask it? Ask it, yeah. Okay. But you have to say Sarah Sarita and then ask it. Okay. Sarah Sarita. Oh my God, not in the accent. That is okay. That is how she'd want it. <laughs> I think it is, actually. Barney? Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Barney. I think it's actually culturally appropriate. Fine. I don't think it is. I don't know about that. Oh. I just want it on record that I did not approve. Sara Sarita. (laughs) Are we going to have a good 2023? That's so nice. Coins? Mine's tail, so that's no. (laughs) Oh. Oh, shit. So is mine. Okay, I got but, okay. you need to be more specific because you say we and I think it means the whole world, which is appropriate because not everyone's going to have a good 2023. Okay. Maybe ask it if me and you are because I'd, I'd quite like to know that as well. You ready? Sarah Sarita, are me and Hannah, Hannah Bishkovsky and Susie Priest and Barney. Oh, thanks, guys. Are we, oh, the three of us in this pod box here today going to have a good 2023? Go. Mine's heads. Mine's tails. Maybe. 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 I'm all right with maybe. Um, Okay, Hannah, it's your turn to ask Sarah something. Mine only ever shows tails. That's what... Well, no, it didn't. It did heads last time, didn't it, when we entered the game? Sure. Um, (coughs) What do I want to know? Um, Sarah Sarita, will Woolworth ever make a comeback to the high street? (sighs) Come on. That's tails, fuck. Oh, it's gone. It's um under your chair, I think, Susie. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah. What is it? It's tails. Tails again. No. Ah, It's a hard no. Which proves the game works because, to be fair, it's never going to come back, is it? Because those CDs were really good value. They were. Okay. They gave. They were giving them away. So, Sarah Sarita, considering I was in the 2021 Christmas ad campaign for Debenhams. You were. (laughs) Yeah. Will that make a comeback onto the high street? Because everyone misses Debenhams. Has <laughs> Debenhams gone? Yeah, mate. Oh. Tails. Tails Tails again. It's a hard no. Debenhams ain't coming back. Online only. Um, I have actually got a question I'd like the answer to because it's pissing me off. Sarah Sarita, will my mum and dad ever clean the fucking attic before they die? Because I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Heads. Yes. Yeah, but uh, you need a hard yes, oh, yeah. though. Tails again. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, they right. might. Will one of us in this pod box see a ghost this year? Oh, fuck. I just dropped my coin. Tails. Oh, my God. The first time it's shown heads. <gasps> Mine's tails. That's a maybe. Maybe. <coughs> yeah, but you actually... Oh, yeah, because you said one of us. One of us. Um... Are you done? Now we have to do the right... Now we have to do the farewell, yeah. Speak clearly and in unison. Sarah Sarita, may I leave your game? If, oh, fuck, we've got to make sure the coins are heads up. This could take it out. Should we do it on here? Yeah, go on. Right, one, two, three. Sarah Sarita... Oh, no. oh my God, sorry. <laughs> We're never going to leave this game. are going to have to keep booking the pod. <laughs> Sarah Sarita... One, two, three. Sarah, Sarah Sarita, Sarita, may I leave, leave your game? game. Oh. Well, no tails, because obviously we fucked it. What is it? Sarah Sarita. Sarah may- Sarita, may I leave your game? May I leave your game? Okay. One, two, three. Sarah, Sarah Sarita, Sarita, may I leave, I leave your, your game? game? What? Oh, you've it's on edge again. Oh, that I means no That was heads though. Tails for me. Fuck's sake! One, two, three. Sarah, Sarah Sarita, Sarita, may I leave your game? game. Thank like, fuck for that. Okay, we're out. We're out, guys. We're out. Good, great. Um Let's keep the these. coins somewhere and do not spend them. You can never spend these. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck off. No, Sarah Sarita, I will spend them, thank you. Sorry, that 40p's gone. That Maybe is... just frame them. 
No. <laughs> no, these Possibly are going living. on the pick and mix, actually. <laughs> um, I have a confession to make. What? It never showed heads. Are you fucking serious? What, at all? No, I just wanted to enter the game. <laughs> oh. Are you fucking serious? No, I'm serious. Oh, I just no. wanted to enter the game. I was getting impatient. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> This is how all horror films start, you piece of shit. Oh, no. And I took the piss out of her accent. Oh, God. This is, I'm Jennifer Aniston. You're the roommate. <laughs> Could you please wash up your fork, bitch? You're going to get fucking haunted, giggling in your path yeah. to yourself. Yeah, you want to put the dishwasher on, buy some um, tabs. Great. Well, that's good. Uh, good. About that. Thank you, Susie. For not playing the game properly. Uh, Listen, I just wanted. Why the fuck do we spend so much time leaving the game then? Because I suddenly thought, what if she's watching? What if she's peeking? Well, she knows that you fucking lied. Why don't we at the same time on one, two, three say? Sorry, Sarita. Sarita, That's the end of our episode. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Sarah, Sarita. Sarita, That's that's the the end end of of our episode. episode. My episode. You just said my episode. (laughs) Oh, was it yours? <laughs> yeah, episode six, Hannah's episode. Um, <laughs> thank you for listening. Ah! <laughs> yeah, thank you for listening to my episode. Thanks for listening to my podcast. Thank you for listening um, to my podcast. Susie's my been guest, a guest. Susie Priest. Yeah, of all episodes, she's just been a guest. <laughs> she's just sat on my fucking podcast. Oh, amazing. Um, that's been really great. Uh, <coughs> see you next week and enjoy your new year. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.